Hey everyone, it's early morning, <laughs> it's four in the morning. I wanted to do a coffee chat with you and I thought I'd just get it going. I woke up really early and so I thought, well, let's get up, let's get my bed all fold up and let's get the coffee going. Coffee, here you go. Let's have a coffee chat. We haven't had one for a little while. Cheers. Mm. Wow, that's really strong coffee. <laughs> I'm doing the pour over uh, type coffee. It's really strong, but I knew I needed strong coffee today. So I want to dedicate this video to Deborah Starling. On Facebook, she asked me some questions about working and how to find a job and whether she asked me a bunch of different questions about does this matter what do you think about this do you think this is different well i did i'm not an expert at this subject so i like to do research and it appears that finding a job now these days is a little bit different i think it's a little bit more relaxed than it was maybe 10 20 years ago so I'll go over that and I'm not an expert at this. So I did take notes and I will refer to what I found out. So thank you, Deborah, for this. And one of the uh, issues that I have right now is saving in gasoline and fuel. And thus far it's the 21st of July and I've only spent $74. Yay, because the last two months I spent $600 each month. And then the month before that, I think it was kind of the same. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to save money and I'm trying to keep all my expenses really low this month just to get a little bit of a break. Summertime isn't perfect for making money on YouTube. For, not for us little channels like I have. A lot of people say, oh, you have such a big channel. Well, compared to some of the big boys. Well, I had, <laughs> I guess I gotta edit that. My alarm went off and it clicked off my video. I normally get up at four and 4.15 in the morning. Well, it's 4.15. Look at me, I'm all ready to go. Did my hair the best I could <laughs> inside my van. You know, there are, as far as talking about work, there are realities going on out here. You can be broke or you can be poor. And I imagine right now I'm seeing a lot of mix. There are some real poor people out here living in their vehicles. And, but there are some people that just because of the way the economy is, they're just broke um, spending all this money on gas. So Deborah, this is a very timely um, subject because a lot of us do need to go out there and work. Why do we need to work? Well, there are young people who are out here that have just lost their apartments and they're in, um, they're in like minivans or cars and there's a lot of class C's out here too. I'm seeing class C's that are like ready to be, ready to just fall apart. Uh, the walls even seem kind of wobbly. And I don't think it's the same way that I notice in a class A. Uh, class B's can be a little wobbly. Uh, some of them are pretty old looking, but I'm telling you, uh, I'm seeing a lot of class C's and I noticed that all across the country when, especially on the west um, part of the nation, is it where a lot of nomads really end up. I mean, there's some class C's that are like, wow. On one video I showed where this got to, literally uh, the wall was falling off. <laughs> I mean, and I've seen some really bad ones out here. A couple of them look like they're uh, mold traps. You can almost see the mold growing out of the windows. I can't imagine what the inside looks like, but so there's a lot of, there's, it seems to be a lot of lack going on out here as far as money goes or being able to fix your vehicles. So I think this is timely. Let's talk about finding work. And I don't think it's the same as it was before. Things seem a little bit more lax in resumes. Mm so good so let me get my glasses on let me look at my let me look at my notes yeah okay there we go there we go 
Okay, so I looked up um, resumes. Um, resumes for today, today's resumes, what's going on? And I did find a few sites. If you want to also Google it, just type in um, today's resumes 2022. And the four key points that you want to make if you're going to put a resume together are one, they want to know about not, okay, let me just say they don't want to know so much about all the chronological um, events that have happened in your life or that I worked at this and then I did this. They want to know whether you have critical thinking and logic. That's today's um, worker. That's what they want. If you want to get a more professional job. Now, there's going to be two types of work that you can look for. One is entry level. That's kind of what I go for because I'm a nomad. I don't want to just go for a, a real professional job because I know I'm not going to stay. Why would I do that unless I can travel and do that kind of job? But guess what? I already have a job and that's getting videos and information out to you. So I spend so much time doing that, that I would want more of an entry level job that I could do maybe for a month or two, stash some money away and then move on. But a lot of you, and I know Deborah Starling, you asked about this, that you're looking for, or you're interested in knowing how to find a more professional job, maybe things that you had done in the past and you want to re-enter into that because we all, we can't just be on a fixed income anymore, can we? Prices are going up and our fixed income, well, that the word fixed, it's fixed. It's not like we're getting raises and senior citizens do not get enough raise in social security. Um, the government probably can't afford it, I understand. But with the prices going up so high, seniors really are, um, are suffering because we need more money to pay for all of this stuff. Uh, our gasoline, our food prices, oy ve shmer, right? You know, and I'm going to be talking about this in the future um, coming up. I am thinking about doing a series on this, um, senior living and what's going on with seniors these days because I looked at some statistics. It's not a pretty picture, but let's get back to uh I digress, sorry, <laughs> on this. So for your resume, if you want to go into a job, a more professional job, and you're a senior citizen, your resume has should have four things. What? One is critical thinking and logic. And they want examples of how you have in the past used your critical thinking and use logic in order to uh, solve a problem. Number two is your leadership and consensus building, okay? They wanna know um, what your leadership skills are. Number three is sustainable results. They wanna know what kind of results in a job setting or in a volunteer setting, or even in your personal life. What sustainable results did you accomplish or did you create? And by sustainable, they mean that you didn't just for the time being, it worked. Was it sustainable in your results over a long period? And I know this might sound like daunting to actually put this all together, but I bet, you know, be creative with it. And I'm gonna put this on the screen for you so you have those four points. And then the fourth one is your core values. What are your core values? And that's going to be different for everybody. But it will uh, put you in the right position. If your core values coincide with a company's core values, then it would be a good match. And I think that's what employers are looking for. Now, I did, <laughs> this one interested me, of course. Um, it's called a video resume. Now, this is just in addition to your regular resume. And you need to make your resume short, your written resume. But a video resume 
is in coordination with your a written one. So how would you get this video resume to uh, a prospective employer? Upload it and it needs to be short, maybe a minute, 30 second or a minute video. And it says, what is a video resume? Hey, <laughs> this would be up my alley, right? A video resume is a brief video submitted with a job application to provide supplementary demonstration of your skills, personality, and qualifications. I guess those are the three things they really want inside of those other four ones that I've listed. If you decide to use a video resume, you should still write a traditional resume and treat it as your primary resume. Okay, and this would be perfect for like, if you were going for a media job, marketing or technological job. Okay, but I did see some examples of, they were just like this geologist uh, put up a really cool video resume. And even if it's just a traditional job, you know, um, they might think, wow, this is really a creative person. So I would still do it. I mean, this would be fun to do. Well, it would for me, maybe not for you. But if you're going to present, present yourself to an employer and it's a professional job, well, you just might want to uh, practice. So start now by practicing being in front of the camera, just like I'm in front of the camera. Start practicing being in front. And sometimes it's not easy. You do need practice. I've had plenty of practice, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty comfortable in the camera. And I, I need my coffee. I'm pretty chatty in the morning. You could film a mock interview, a very short mock interview, where maybe you could you could show yourself actually as the interviewer, and then show and then with with um with maybe a hat on or a different hairdo or whatever. And then you will show yourself answering that. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, you need to have a little bit of editing skills. It's so easy. You could even go on iMovie if you have an iPhone and use the most simplest of simple to edit your video. But if you have any bit of video um, editing skills, this would be perfect. Just film a mock interview. Um, you or you could just showcase your work you really want to sell yourself you need to be confident and this is going to be with any type of job you need to be confident now sometimes in entry-level jobs and i'm going to get into that in a minute um you don't always have to be uber confident they just want you to work you know you don't have to be like this super professional you know dress well hair hair perfect no um, I do like entry level jobs. I'm, I have, uh, two degrees, two bachelor degrees and yeah, I can do professional work, but I just happen to be more of an artistic type. So I like to be more of an entrepreneur and use my skills. I use my college education for my entrepreneur skills. So, okay. <laughs> that was a mouthful, right? Um, you want an introduction, you want your qualifications, and you want your core values possibly inside of your video resume. On all the resumes, whether it's written, whether it's a video, you want to keep it short, you want to keep it appropriate, you want to be creative, that's big, and you want to be positive and confident. I think those are actually life skills, right? Those are, this is advice just for life itself. You want to be positive and you want to be confident in what you're saying. Uh, yeah, I hope I'm being confident in what I'm saying, but I've had to read my notes here. <laughs> yeah. Deborah Starling asked a few questions here for getting a professional job, a non entry level job would be, she said, should we dye our hair? Because if we're seniors, most likely we have gray hair. <laughs> well, I thought that was an interesting question. It almost seems like people say, well, that's, you know, kind of a silly question. I think it was a great question. Well, as far as gray hair goes, I mean, 
it wasn't, it was just a couple of years ago. I don't see it as much anymore, but a couple of years ago, a lot of young people were dying their hair gray. <laughs> I'm not sure why they were doing it. It was a thing. Um, they wanted to have gray hair. They wanted to appear older. I'm not sure. I, I can't imagine my age group when we were younger wanting to dye our hair gray. Um, we didn't, at our age, we didn't trust anybody over 30. <laughs> now, we don't trust anybody under 30. Maybe that's why they're drying their hair gray. Um, so we would trust them. <laughs> I don't so sure. Well, I'm telling y'all, you young people, I trust you. I love young people. I love my grandkids. I love my children. Oh my gosh. And, and they're quite successful and honest and good hard workers and just really good taxpayers too. <laughs> I created ta good taxpayers, you know, good citizens. But I do like young people. Actually, I love to spend time with young people. And uh, some, sometimes, I mean, no offense, sometimes I do feel like in some ways I have more in common <laughs> with younger people because I've tried to stay current most of my life, so. Okay, so dyeing your hair, okay the gray hair thing. I think it's really, and I know you're going to say, well, of course, but I think it's just an individual thing. I do dye my hair. I do. And I really need to go dye it again. I need to get a little hotel room so I can dye my hair because you can't dye your hair in a gym. And I'm certainly not going to do it in my van. And uh, yeah, so it makes it a little difficult. Uh, so I have to get myself a hotel room. Now, in the past, I've treated myself to a really nice one so that, you know, I can be comfortable and stay there and and just, you know, have a good night. But I don't know, with the prices going up, I might just get a real cheap one, go in and dye my hair and, uh, and then go back and sleep out in my van because I do worry about um, bed bugs being in there and I worry about the old mattresses with stains <laughs> I'm sorry okay I digress yeah but gray hair I do dye my hair and I dye it blonde and I was a blonde uh, as a child and then it kind of dirtied up and it was more of a golden brown but yeah um, I do enjoy having blonde hair it's a personal issue if you are more comfortable with your gray hair do it if you want to appear to look younger go ahead and dye it, but you're going to be stuck dying it all the time then. So you really have to decide. I am stuck dying my hair most of the time. I could let it grow out. I just choose not to yet. At some point I will. So it's really a personal issue. Now, the second question was, should we try to look younger? Well, I mean, kind of, yeah. If you're going to be competing with younger people, why not? I, there's nothing wrong with it. People say, oh, you shouldn't just try to look younger. I mean, don't go ridiculous. But yeah, I like to I like to look young. I like to look younger. I like to take care of myself. I think one of the tricks is to start. If So if you're younger and you're listening to this, stay in shape. Take care of your skin, exercise, eat eat decent foods. You don't have to go all organic all the time. But try to eat decent foods and take some vitamins and supplements and help yourself out. I mean, there's no sense in just aging horribly, right? Just take care of yourself and don't let yourself get overweight. Once It's really hard to get weight off. It, you all know that. Once you put it on, it's hard to get it back off. It just is. Even if it's five pounds, it's like, oh, uh, now I got to get off this five pounds. And the more you think about it, the worse it gets. The more, the more you think about losing five pounds, the more you eat. I swear. <laughs> That's the way it goes, right? Right. I think you all know that. So just try not to overeat and try to get exercise. Now, if you are overweight and you didn't take care of yourself real well, well, why not start now? And you know, I've got those exercises up there. Mini Van Lee, you've got exercises up there for you. So um, you start doing them, start getting in shape. Now, one of the things about yoga is I do on 
on my exercise videos, there's, there's a combination of yoga and Pilates and some dance moves and some weights. But I'll tell you, doing yoga, you get an instant facelift. You do. You can look uh, five, ten years younger by starting to do yoga because what it does is it kind of tightens up your skin. Yeah. Gets rid of, Corey, starts getting rid of this. Even if you're overweight and you've got a chin down to here, it will kind of lift it up a little bit. You can look ten years, five, ten years younger just by starting to do yoga. So don't discount my videos and they're not expensive. They're on sale right now. Okay, it's my little commercial. <laughs> Working out at the at the gym. Yeah. Okay, so I say yeah. I mean, you know what looks good on you. I know what looks good on me. I know what kind of clothes I go for. I mean, I wouldn't wear this for a job interview. It's just a, it's just more casual. It's it's like stylish casual. But I don't know if you want, you don't really want to go for a suit either. Um, unless it's like, wow, you're going on Wall Street or something, you know. Um, but yeah, you do. I, I would say, why not go for maybe five, ten years younger? Why not? I mean, you're going to feel better about it. You you know, youth, they say what, youth is wasted on the young or something like that. Um I don't see anything wrong with looking or having an attitude of a younger person. It you'll be you'll end up being more charismatic anyway, so why not go for it? Cheers. Cheers to youth, okay. Well, what what else did she ask? Oh yeah, um SS checks are not enough and I'm going to be talking about this in the future, maybe even in the next video. We we have to talk about this. Social security checks are not enough. Now, a lot of you do have good pensions. Yes, and you have other, um, a lot of your veterans and you retired from the military. Well, when I was researching stats on poverty for seniors, and I've been doing a lot of that just recently, the truth is, the seniors now, the boomers, there were there were professional women out there. There are a lot of women in our age, my age, who are living in squalor poverty, and especially with prices going up because, and I mentioned this, and it's not a judgmental thing, but it's reality. Is this reality, folks? A lot of women my age were not brought up to be professionals. And I tell this story, and I know it's true for a lot of families. I had one brother, and he was the one that was going to college. We were a middle-class family. They didn't have enough to put all the females, and I had three sisters, going into college to get a good education. Well, there was a mindset going on. That, that isn't the whole story. But there was a mindset. You, we, I, <laughs> you, we, I were going to be homemakers. We were going to be wives and mothers and aunts and daughters. And we were the females. And we were going to be the caregivers, right? Of families. And that's the way my parent, my mother was and her mother, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, the 60s hit, right? The 70s, yeah. And it didn't turn out that way. So what happens is a lot of us don't have a large social security coming in. Now, we could have possibly been more business motivated or entrepreneur-ish or just uh, career driven. And there were a lot of women my age who were, oh yeah. And so kudos, I am happy for for you that were but you can't put down women our age who didn't uh, who don't have a large social security because um you know this was our mindset we were going to be mothers and we were going to take care of children and our husbands and we didn't work as much so with that said 
there's a lot of women most the the, the highest poverty group in the United States are women close to in their late 70s and 80s they're living in dirt poverty because they did not they don't have a good social security system and because the prices have ri risen so high that you know they're living in in big poverty so it's, it's an issue and i do know that a lot of older female nomads and men too and men too oh my gosh are living in squalor um, vans right now and i've seen them and i'm hearing about them and i'm being introduced to them so i am going to do possibly a series about this so that we can maybe get a system going maybe to help them now, i know there are systems out there to help i know there are but i've heard i've heard things that um they they help their friends and it really is a farce so i won't go into that but i think that some people are afraid to say something but maybe it needs to be said yeah so cheers to truth so possibly we can get something going without starting a um a nonprofit organization that we can get something going maybe to help um but we'll talk about that down the road now as far as so we're talking about working right now because Deborah Starling asked these questions. And I think it's a good idea that people get out there at, at, at no matter what age and get out there and work. It's going to end up giving you more confidence. So as far as taking like she also asked, should they take um, computer classes, things like that? Oh, taking classes is always a good idea in any community I think there are free classes out there and what that's gonna do is it might not give you this perfect skills to get this job um, in 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 a real business setting but it's gonna give you the confidence to get going so you can make some money up oh, I think my lights about to go out it's flickering I know you know I have been in the winter <laughs> Let me put that. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's get a different light going on here. I've got all kinds of lights going on. Oh, okay. This is what we're dealing with. All of my lights are going bad here. Get white. Oh, yeah. Let's do white. Oh, that's better. All right. Woo, we're back in business, people. <laughs> okay. Um, but being out, let me turn this off. It's summertime. It's hot. And being out in the sun so that I can get my solar outside, it isn't happening. Um, like in the after, I can do it early morning, but in the afternoon I have to get in the shade. So I really do have to conserve on, on my lighting here. And I'm not driving as much. When I'm driving, um, it's out in the sun if I'm traveling here and there and I can have every single um, power station plugged up to, to perfect you know 100% but I'm not traveling either so okay so coffee got that little salt. see I can do sustainable re I have sustainable results I'll put that in my resume <laughs> I know okay she's getting wacky here well Let's talk about entry level jobs. There are a dime a dozen out there now. They need help. Now, if you're older and you think, oh, nobody's going to hire me because I'm too old or I'm overweight or, or I have gray hair or whatever. No, 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 no. I'll tell you, when I worked at Amazon, I saw there were actually mentally challenged people working there. They were emptying a waste baskets and the bins and, you know, that there's a lot of that going on in, in a warehouse. You have to empty out the plastic and the, and the cardboard. You have to move it around. So, um, and some people, it was hard for them to move. I watched them. They were limping. They had something wrong with their leg or something. They hired them. They can, you will still get hired. Amazon does not discriminate against age at all. In most cases, you have to be able to lift at least 50 pounds, but you don't do that all the time. Um, it was rare that there were days where I had to lift 50 pounds objects, like a lot. 
but um, they were very rare. Usually you're lifting just boxes and some of them are light. Walmart, they need people at Walmart. Go work at Walmart. They've changed. Walmart has changed. Um, there, it's not this horrible job the way it used to be. No. Um, uh, fast food. Onions are taking over fast food. I don't know if that's entirely true anymore. But go do it. It'll be, it'll be fun. You will be working with younger people and it will be fun. It really matters on what the minimum wage is. But I know here in uh, California and in Arizona and in Colorado, the minimum wage is above $12. So you're going to make at least $12 an hour. There's a good supplement for your social security. Start Googling, getting a job, getting a resume together. If you're entry level, you really don't need a resume anyway. So I never fill out a resume at all. What they did was they looked at my background. They did a background check and that's all they did. And at Walmart, they're probably going to do the same. I mean, they're going to find a job for you. And if you really, if you really got something upstairs here and you've got some experience, you can move up in Walmart doesn't matter what your age is. Uh, the restaurant work, yeah. but And then with Christmas coming up, you're going to be able to find work. And if you're a nomad, the entry-level jobs, oy vey shmir, go get an entry-level job and make some extra money. Now, I do know also, I th the Dig Digitech, it's in Minnesota. I can leave you more information um, where... Um, where Jack Moore is working. It's up in Minnesota. They need people bad right now and they pay very well. Now you do have to have some computer skills because you're going to be working on a computer. So, but they do train you and it's like a couple weeks of training and he's become a trainer. He's moved up so fast there. Um, but he did say that right now they're really hurting for people. So I will leave the information in a comment there. So if you want to drive up to Minnesota, if you're a nomad, but I wanted to address this. Think about this. You do not have, you do not have to look like this really young person to get a job. Okay. And you don't have to go for the big computer jobs, the techie jobs. No, you can do entry level and move in there and then you can move up in that particular job. So just, it really is up here. If you consider yourself to be a a young type person and you can you have young ideas it's going to show out here if you consider yourself up here to be you know a senior citizen and you don't have the confidence it's going to show out here so up here is really where it starts and I talked about that so much so I hope you enjoyed this. It's kind of a wacky, wacky coffee chat, right? Cheers, yeah. Cheers to wacky coffee chats. So I'm going to start my day. We're talking, oh, it's five o'clock now. So I'm going to start my day. And I've been doing myself a good routine while I'm here. I'm not driving as much and I've been going to the gym every morning. Then I've been writing in the afternoon and then I can kind of have a little bit of relaxing playtime. But I'll tell you what, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot trying to be in my van and I'm really anxious for, for autumn to come. Yay for autumn. Please hurry. I love you guys. Love you guys.